Hi there, everybody. Thank you for joining us at St Mary's Stadium in Southampton today, the venue for our game, which Alan Smith will describe along with me, Martin Tyler. Southampton in action today against Cardiff City. Away from home, Alan, this team, who are the visitors today, have been struggling, and that record is deplorable, really. No wins in 12 games. Well, a real reshuffle for Southampton in this lineup. Matt Target plays with Cedric Suarez in the fullback position. Oriol Romeo plays with Mario Lamina in the centre of the park, and it's rounded off the team with these two strikers. Now, this is the Cardiff City lineup today for you. It does look more like 4 4 1 1 than 4 4 2. Yes, I think so. I mean, it gives the manager the option of stiffening his midfield. And when they get the ball, you know, that number 10, if that's what you want to call him, behind the centre forward, he can supply the bullets, he can get in the box and give his teammates some Thank company. You for attending Saint Southampton. Mary's well, they'll be working hard, I'm sure. Their last game was an away defeat against Burnley. Yeah, the 2 0 defeat, a bit worrying was a bit worrying with the way that they defended. I'd be disappointed with it. Uh, determined to improve today, and uh, I think this is a winnable match for them. Oriol Romeo. Now Johnson, chance for the cross. He's got out there quickly and stopped the ball coming in. Well, they pressed well to win the ball back. Here's Reed. And it's going to be a throw here. Mario Lemina. It's Matt Target. Now, this is an interesting attack. Well, space to get the cross in. It's rather skewed off his head in the end. Yeah, he, uh, he didn't catch it properly. I think he probably closed his eyes there. That will go down as a wasted chance. Well, service like that, you cannot complain about it, and it's a really poor header from him. to Bennett on the move and able to cut out the pass and it's a shot now still a chance in there off the goalkeeper well maybe the counter attack is on here well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. Reed. That's good support play from his teammates. He's got that, but got the ball away as well. Gets his cross in. Well, they've got to keep the crosses coming in. I'm sure in the end we'll deliver something, but it didn't this time. Austin. Johnson. Room now out on the wing. Whipped in from the wide area. Put away, but not out of harm's way. To Johnson. Well, you can see what he was trying to do with the cross, but it's a goal kick. So our transfer talk just before the game here, Alan, is involving Tottenham Hotspur and a possible signing for them. 
Yes, and uh, about £35 million, pounds, it sounds as if they're going to have to pay, but small change for this club. He's come into this area, into his own midfield to collect the ball. Rather deep position, but you can see what they're doing. They're keeping possession by doing it. Stevens. That will help ease the pressure. And find some space here on the flanks. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. He's got his shot off now. Austin. Here's Bennett. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. Nathaniel Mendes Lang. Trying to get behind the defenders to get in a good cross. And it will be their throw. Cedric. Making sure there's no turnover. Excellent work with the tackle. It's a good cross. Good block, but a poor cross. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Can go in from here. Well, he clears the danger. It'll be a throw. To Johnson. Here's Cedric Suarez. Place to try and hit it now. Off the bar and in. Well, sometimes it comes out, but I think he deserves his luck there. And it thumped into the net via the underside of the bar. Well, it is difficult for any keeper when that happens because uh, difficult to reach up to it. Southampton in front. Goal for Southampton. Number 10, Charlie Van Back. Austin. It's Charlie Austin. Chance from the pass. Well, indicated they, well, they managed to dig themselves out of a pretty deep Austin. hole then. It was a great chance, I thought. But they're safe again. To Johnson. Saw the goal and went for it. And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. Well, the referee has signaled for half-time, and it's 1-0 here. Well, the manager must be tearing his hair out because, again, they've let themselves down on the road. Yeah, once again, we've seen it so often, too many sloppy mistakes at the back. And the ball is on the roll again, and the second half is underway. Reed. Cutting in now. Throw in here. Here's Lemina. And that will be a goal kick. Moment to reassess Austin's goal. It's given them the lead. Now Austin. Crisp defending there. Substitute threading it through. Needs to stay cool now. Cross driven in low. Just needed some composure, Alan, didn't he? And then he missed it. Yeah, I think the occasion got the better of him there. Number seven, Harry Arter, to be replaced by number eight, Joe Rowe. It's Charlie Austin. 
A goal from uh, Huddersfield. It's a second goal for Arsenal. 55 minutes played. 2 1. Thanks, Alan. He's given it away. Now they're looking to get forward from this position. Taking on the defenders. Oh, can he get it away here? Safety first there. Substitution time. Nathan Redmond. Cleared the ball. We've had an hour gone here and still 30 minutes left. Oh, they've shown him the inside. Going for goal! Might just have got away with him with that first touch, but it hasn't. Nathan Redmond. Looking a problem until the clearance was made. Well, here is the... That earlier incident, Alan, so close. Well, I'm guessing that he's not going to try that again in a hurry, particularly after his manager gets into him after this match. In goes the corner. Goalkeeper out of position, and from close range, he really should have scored. Well, he should. That was a golden opportunity spurned. was danger but he's cleared it good anticipation by the opposing player there to read the direction of the throw good vision real chance oh it's close Alan offside is given he's quick enough he doesn't need to do that 20 minutes of the 90 still to play Coming on strong and looking to play their way through now. This could be it. Oh, they could have. Increased their advantage then. Yeah, I think that would have been game over. It should have been really from that distance. Mario Lemina. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. Attacking well here. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. Real chance. Southampton's corner. And here comes the corner. Well, they've got a corner out of that. A bit lucky, it was deflected. Corner played in. He's gone in with the header. The ball nowhere near going into the net. I think it's come off the top of his head, that one. And he'll have to go back to the training ground to improve that uh, part of his game. Oh, what a golden opportunity because that was a really good ball in from out wide. And 
Just didn't time his header. Manga. Nathan Redmond got the tackle in. Substitute coming up for the away team. Now it's a free kick. Substitution. The referee has decided to award. We are going to see a substitution now. Coming onto the pitch, number 17, Aaron Gunasi. Stevens. Careless there. Still 1 0 here with the time almost up. What about this uh, impacting on the next game? Well, Southampton go up against. Here's the chance. Really hit well, but didn't trouble the goalkeeper. Yeah, maybe a little sighter for him there. They might have played him in here. Well, deep defending here, but he's got the ball. They've worked so hard, the team, to be in front here, and that's been recognised by the supporters. Yeah, I think they recognise that it has been a really good performance, but still a bit of work to do. Number ten. Still, as we are on the scoreline, but there's still time, even this late in the game, for a twist to the tail. And the added time will amount to three minutes at least. Three minutes of added time. Top effort, really, but it's just too high. Maybe next time that kind of effort will be on target. <laughs> well, the game has run its course here, and there's the final whistle. And that is a win to cherish today. Oh, most definitely, although they uh, made one or two mistakes at the back, the strikers were good enough to win the spoils. Well, they have got the travel sickness again, haven't they? They have lost away from home, and they've been very well beaten here. Yeah, it's beginning to become a real millstone around the necks, this record. They've got to turn it around quickly.